All right, now to Brockton, where Brockton Hospital has been working to evacuate more than 150 patients all day long because of a fire in the basement there. WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer is live at the hospital for us tonight. And Jordan, it really looks like it's going to be a while before the hospital's back up and running. Definitely, David, but fire officials did just wrap up checking for any last hot spots as well as demobilizing Brockton Hospital here tonight. All patients were evacuated safely to surrounding hospitals. We were able to move all of our patients out of the hospital with zero injuries and zero deaths. A 10 alarm fire at Brockton Hospital forcing mass evacuations this afternoon. Worked here for 33 years and this is unprecedented. Officials say the fire started just after 7 this morning. When I got here, it was probably 7.15. There was one fire truck inside, and I was like, what is that? Why is it on that side? It started in the transformer room. Firefighters first working at the back of the hospital to put out the flames, while National Grid shut off the transformer and emergency generators. It spread to a couple of other parts of the building. We were able to extinguish that. The next priority, the patients inside. Brockton Fire Chief Brian Nardelli saying the multiple alarm fire was necessary to bring in mutual aid, evacuating 160 patients. We have fire apparatus as far north as Brookline and as far as down as the Cape. Hospital President Bob Haffey saying patients will not be responsible for ambulatory care today. Somebody will pay for it, but it won't be the patient. As the cause of the fire remains under investigation. There's severe damage to the electrical room, the main electrical room serving the main hospital, uh, and that's where the focus is. The power has still not been restored here. Procedures in the coming days will be canceled and then rescheduled. Live in Brockton tonight, Jordan Jagalinzer, WBZ News. All right, Jordan, thank you.